we want to find an equation for line tangent to this vector curve at the point 2, 0, 1. And the first thing we're going to need to know is what value of t does this correspond to. So for that, we can look at any of the three equations. Uh, looking at the first equation, we could ask when is uh, t squared plus 1 going to equal 2. Uh, the only problem here is that when we solve this, we end up with t equals plus or minus 1. Uh, so we know it's either 1 or negative 1, but we don't know exactly which one yet. We're going to run into the same problem with the sine equation, so maybe the last one is going to be the most useful. We need root t to be 1, and that'll happen when t equals 1. So that tells us then that this point is the point uh, corresponding with r of 1. Okay, so now we know what value of t we're looking at. Uh, in order to find an equation for a line uh, tangent to this curve, we need to know, first of all, what the tangent uh, vector equation is. So we need the, we need the derivative of this vector equation. So let's go ahead and take the derivative. Derivative of t squared plus 1 is 2t. Derivative of sine pi t. Uh, derivative of sine is cosine pi t, and then we got a chain rule times the derivative of the inside. Gives us a multiplication by pi. And derivative of root t, remember this is t to the 1 half. Uh, derivative of root t will be 1 half t to the negative 1 half, uh, or in other words, 1 over 2 root t. Now we specifically need that gives us the tangent vector at any point along the curve r, but we need specifically the tangent vector uh, at the point where t equals <coughs> where t equals one, right? So we need r prime at one. Uh, so we can go ahead and evaluate our derivative function at one. Plugging in one for t, we get two. We get let's see here. We get pi times cosine of pi times 1, we'll come back to that, 1 to the negative 1 half. So let's see, evaluating this, uh, cosine of pi is negative 1, so we get negative pi for the y component. 1 to the negative 1 half is just 1, so we get 1 half for the z component. And so that is the tangent vector uh, at the point t equals 1. Now, if we want the equation for the line that's tangent, you'll notice that that tangent vector can act as the direction vector of the line that we're looking for. So here is our tangent line. Uh, so first thing we need is a starting point, a point that our line passes through. Well, luckily, we know that point. It is this point right up here. It's the point on the original curve. Now, if we hadn't been given this point and we were just given a t-value, we could plug that t-value into the original equation to find that point. But in this case, we know the starting point is that, and then the direction vector of the line will be our r prime at 1. And there is an equation for the line tangent to the curve uh, passing through that point.